Okay, we're going to talk about accumulation functions here. And uh, to begin with, we're looking at the derivative of a function. Since this is a derivative of a function, you can tell that the function itself is decreasing here. Um, it's going to increase on this interval because the derivative is positive. It's going to decrease uh, on this tiny interval here and then increase the rest of the way. You can also look at it and see concavity, for instance. Uh, the function, since this is the derivative and the derivative is increasing on this interval, basically from negative 3 to 0, function will be concave up on that interval. Um, let's take a look at some definite integrals. Um, so the definite integrals we're looking at are from negative 3 to what I'm calling x sub b, because usually you talk about the integral from a to b. So from negative 3 to x sub b of f prime of x dx. Um, since I'm at negative 3 right now, so negative 3 to negative 3 should be 0, which we're getting. Makes sense. Um, now what I'm going to do is vary this. So uh, on this interval, the function is decreasing, and we can see the net change that we're getting in the definite integral is uh, negative. Uh, when I get to negative 1, it's negative 4, and it's going to start increasing, which means that um, it's going to get less negative, but I don't think it's going to make it to the positives. But it is getting less negative because the function is increasing. Uh, it's going to decrease again, which means uh, we're getting more negative, or a more negative net change. And then here we're going to start increasing, and so... Uh, Eventually, it's going to actually become positive somewhere in this interval. Not sure where. Here we, we have a net change of 1. And then when we get all the way up to 7, it actually turns out by coincidence that um, the net change is 7. So the definite integral from negative 3 to 7 is 7. So now what we want to do is I'm going to reset this to negative 3. And we're going to take a look at a couple of accumulation functions. So they're of the form... Uh, y0, where I've defined y0 in three separate ways, negative 2, 1, and 3, y0 plus the definite integral from negative 3 to x. We're going to evaluate this function at x sub b and uh, plot the points and take a look at what happens. So let's do that. So I am varying it up. Uh, you can see the functions are all decreasing. Um, and here at negative 1, the net change is negative 4, you can see from the definite integral. And if you compare, uh, here we started at negative 2, we're down at negative 6. Corresponding things happened for each of these initial conditions. So uh, that's how accumulation functions work. Uh, we just kind of accumulate change. So we hit a minimum. Uh, all of them had a minimum at the same point. Now we're uh, increasing. Uh, eventually we'll get to another good value. Here's negative 2. You can see that the difference between where it started and where it currently is on the y coordinate is now, uh, it's two below where it started because the net change is negative two. And let's keep rolling. Uh, eventually, the net change is zero, which means that it'll actually be back where it started. Um, right now, it's almost back where it started. Now it's clearly a little higher, um, but only a little higher. And uh, as we keep going, let's get out to the edge here. And when we're all the way out to the edge, uh, we get that net change of 7, which means that each of them is 7 units higher than where it started. So this one started at 3, it's now at 10, uh, that's a, a net change of 7. This uh, started at 1, it's now up at 8, and this started at negative 2, and is now up at 5. And that's how accumulation functions work. Notice that um, each of them is just a vertical translation of the other, um, which means that you know they all have points of inflection at the same place, they all have maximums and minimums at the same place, uh, it's, it's a really neat link, I think, between uh, functions and uh, derivatives. And I hope this uh, helps to clear up some confusion that you might have had, and uh, good luck working with them.